Hi Cancer, it's L here to do your uh, December 2018 mid-monthly reading. So this is going to be the last reading of the year. Um, that's going to be interesting. Um, well, I think everybody's going to have a pretty good, um, a pretty good year. 2019. I hope that everyone has a pretty good year for 2019. Um, okay, Queen of Cups pops out. You pop out. Cancer. It's just typically my Cancer card. Cancer woman. Could be male. Uh, we'll put it back. Okay, you got the four of wands. Definitely. So all those out there who want to know about money and am I going to get some money? The cards are already telling you this is going to be a reading probably about a relationship, okay? So, you can argue with the cards, not with me. Sorry. <sighs> Let's get started. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Cancer. My name is Larry. you are dealing with situations where you think there's another person involved or your partner has another person and they very well may may have another person this person fulfills them on some other level and I don't think they want to 100% be done with you um, in, in a perfect world they have both parties you and the other person For my cancer man you're in a place of you put yourself in a really deep deep hole at first, you thought you wanted to be in this hole. Now, you know you don't want to be. So now, it's a it's a climbing out of the hole. It's a, um, a situation of how do I get out of this? Um, you've been faking happiness and fulfillment for a while. You've been putting up with something or someone who um, feels entitled and obligated because they feel like they put up with so much with you. So there's been a... A constant um, back and forth of, uh, you know, will you do this to make me happy because you did this and I caught you doing this and you this and you that. And also, some of you are in relationships where the both of you have cheated and then you just stay together. The trust is out the door, but it's almost like staying with the enemy that I know versus going to someone I don't know who could very well be good for you okay wow they at the bottom of the deck five of wands lots of pettiness like I just really um reiterated uh, lots of pettiness lots of arguing lots of um gossip also this is um lots of opinion you feel inner conflict because you've been taking opinion from so many different parties um you need to consult your own self okay page of pentacles queen of sword ace of cup queen of cups two of cups what did i say come on cancer all right so it looks like cancer is in a place of wanting to off offer An apology, a gift to someone outside of a connection. Because they're completely in love with them. This could very well be the same person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Or Cancer Woman. This is um, you. There's a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, who... You want to either reignite the love with, or you know that there's there's a love here. There's a, a six. There could be a successful relationship. And there's still love there. But in in the midst of there's been problems. There was there's been drama. There's a an entire. An entirely another situation that this person is involved in or you're the outside woman <sighs> mm. 
It's emotional confusion. There's also a Cancer Pisces Scorpio dealing with another Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, somebody's cheating, definitely a cheating spouse or partner. Somebody has said so many different things. They create illusions. They make say things and make promises. They break them all. Um, yeah, it could be a Leo. It could be that you need to have strength and have it living in this fantasy. You need to see things clearly. Wow, and then we talk about seeing things clearly with the Eight of Swords. Some of you feel mentally trapped uh, or you feel stuck. This might be for some of my male cancers. You're in a hole that you dug for yourself, immersed in obligation to another person. Eight of Pentacles, either the star card. Um, this could also be some of my cancers or vice versa. You turn it around. Somebody dig dreams, thinks about a particular person. Only person showing up is Leo and, and, and uh, Aquarius. Thinks about a particular person. Fantasizes about the thinks about them continuously. They see them as the quintessential ideal wife or husband. They want to work on things with, or they want to heal a situation. They want to restore. They want to um, get back in accord with. This is a, a nice looking woman or man. Okay. Cancer has to make a decision. A life altering one. Maybe in regards to a Gemini. Aquarius. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Ugh, everybody's here. Y'all pick the signs. And it may be that you have to take a leap of faith. And start anew. Start again. Go in a new direction. A new uh, development that you'll be victorious in that you'll you'll feel welcomed and you'll feel like this you've gone after what you wanted and what you desire right now you're holding on to exactly how you feel about a particular person but wanting to go in a new path maybe with someone younger someone who's into fashion someone who dresses well someone who looks very nice the appearance not to say that no, nothing else about them is not good, but this is a person who gets a lot of attention or vice versa. This is you, a uh, Cancer. You want to go in a new direction with them. You're not sure if they'll take to the offer because either you, Cancer, or the other person has had you in a particular situation that just didn't benefit you. It benefited uh, other parties also. So you don't know if you want to take to this cup. Uh, cancer you may be also scared to move to make a move toward a particular person because there's codependency there's lower vibrational energy there's immaturity there's materialistic uh, ideas and or materialistic person or you're materialistic um, in regards to um, accepting an offer or giving one. Cancer, you fear being single, some of you, or being completely independent and away from. This person may not even really like do a whole lot for you monetarily. We don't, we don't have a whole bunch of pentacles card. But there's fear associated with. Or you look at another person. And you're fearful of how independent they are. King of Wands. This could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Sometimes this comes up as the Cancer Man. The Cancer Man may be. Missing out on an opportunity. With a woman who is ferociously independent. Because she has had to be though the cancer man looks at her as idealistic and almost 
envies her, her in a sense. Um, he's also afraid of that because he hasn't had to deal with or never dealt with a particular woman. I'm talking to the cancer man who is like this. Or vice versa, cancer woman. So man is looking at you in regards to how you handle your your yourself. It's almost a threat. It's like, well, if you don't need me, why am I here? Or you will always have an opportunity to leave, especially if I mess up, says the Aries Sagittarius Leo or the Cancer Man. Okay, what's the advice for Cancer? I'm missing a card. The sign, the seven of pentacles, the judgment. Okay. Look to your past, or there's somebody that's been around that you've planted seed, but that you've maybe seven or more months, seven or more years. I don't know. Um, there, there is positivity and and going backwards and having a second chance, a complete do over, and it being completely transformed. This relationship is not what it used to be. It can't be what it used to be. You have to change. You or the other person. Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio. Look at something with a new set of eyes. Um, let's see. make a judgment call on what you've been putting your energy effort and time into is this really going to pay off for you you may get some uh, some kind of clarity illumination about what you've been putting your time energy and effort into is it going to pay off the advice here may be that you might need to either completely transform what you've been doing to where you get what you want out of the situation or it needs to be an ending that happens with all endings and new beginnings heavenly signs okay you're stronger than you know. Changing your mind. Family changes. At the bottom of the deck, body changes also. So, cancer. Looks like there'll be some changes, some shifts in the in the family dynamic. You, you've changed your mind about a situation. You thought you were going one path, but your heart, your mind tells you to go another. And know that you're stronger than then you you give yourself credit for okay what we're going to do is clarify these cards over at my website go ahead and click the link below it's a dollar 75 cent to get the extended reading it's an inexpensive way uh about getting more clarity about this situation how this ends for cancer or potentially how you can um come to some type of and then our culmination of because this has like been an, a running the running uh, script like this has been in a circle for kids and it's like what are you doing um okay so over at the website we were to clarify I don't know why I'm okay 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 all right so them moved to pull more cards. Okay, we'll just pull more cards. Let's see. The one wants to fall out. We're still going to do the extended reading, but something inside of me said, no, pull more cards. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Typically, this is Scorpio or uh, Pisces, but it could be Cancer also, so this is a person keep in mind the king of clubs very much in love is caring understanding but this is a person who likes to have the exes around it feeds the ego now if not that he or she is engaging with the exes this person 
this is a particular a man particularly um likes to um have the exes near if you'll if if you understand you know knowing that they have access to them knowing that they can at any time you know send a facebook message or whatever and have access so keep in mind this is a man who likes to have um revolving around them at the keep to the past they keep to the exes so keep that in mind all right let me take a drink of coffee nine of cups queen of wands ace of wands the sun magician okay so there's definitely a fire sign involved there's also someone that could be leo well this, you could have leo in your placement cancer um Some of you are going to just really try to reignite and go after what you desire, what your heart desires, what you want, um, what you've wished for, what essentially makes you happy. There's somebody who brings out the kid in you. There could also be a baby here. you want to make a baby with somebody you may be trying here somebody's trying there's also somebody here wanting to um, they look at somebody very hot and passionately they want this person I don't know if they this is once again just somebody wanting to keep someone at arm's length. Cancer, either someone's doing this to you or, or this is how you feel about someone. Five of Wands again. For You're not even in contact with this person or there's not much contact. It could be um, a fixed sign Leo. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. There's indecision about trying to reignite this. Someone feels this way about. Somebody's missing someone. Let's see. And then the third source. Yeah, somebody is just heartbroken about the fact that this person doesn't want to play this game then maybe they close this cycle cancer may be feeling like or vice versa you guys you know don't beat me up um cancer either close the door on someone playing a game because there's no offer here you know there's just i passionately want you you bring me lots, lots of joy. I'll say I'll do anything to bring you back in the midst of. Someone's trying to heal from the fact that somebody cut themselves out of a third party situation. Judgment. And okay. So you're definitely not in contact you want contact with a particular person you're not could be Virgo I mean it could be anybody you want to communicate but you're also looking at like you're thinking about what other people say taking it into other perspective you're also guarded or you know that this person is guarded toward you because you need to make a decision about what it is you want you've been keeping options open that you also may be karmically um, connected to codependent to maybe a spouse that's keeping options open or you are that cancer
um, some of you just not happy in a family dynamic you want to walk away but at the same time you, you juggle with walking away there there's a love affair here I think you get found out but I don't feel like this person has been 100% honest with you and faithful we talked about that at the beginning of the reading it's like two cheaters together who's trying to make a life together and trying to have a marriage and trying to have stability and trying but the both of you guys just it just was built on faulty ground so the universe is trying to break this down and possibly give you something or someone that uh could fulfill you that could, could balance out the energy whoever you're dealing with you guys aren't seeing eye to eye you both have your swords drawn Deal with a Sagittarius person. Aquarius comes up again. Libra. Capricorn. I mean, it, you know, you you know your sign, but who you dealing with? Death card at the bottom of the deck. Hell, Cancer. This is a hot ass mess. Okay, it's a hot mess because you cannot get solid on what it is you really want. This is a person. And I, and I don't mean to offend at all. And if you're offended, a hit dog will holler. Okay? This is a person who wants two relationships. And because they serve two different natures for the cancer. Or the cross watcher. Or whoever. Whatever. Whomever. And it's nerve wracking. And it's tiresome. And it's it's a it's an energy of um a push and pull with another a particular person who is tired of it who has either walked away from you and now you're sad and you're missing them because that now there's a void that needs to be filled within you cancer i really feel like i'm speaking to some of the cancer men cancer you need to examine yourself hence the hermit card this is this is somebody after their own desires they have several options or they want to have options they fantasize about the sexual activity and nothing more they can walk away just as quickly as they came in they miss someone only maybe only because of the sexual activity it might even be a mental connection also here but at the same time the cancer is not able to really you know put themselves in a place of Of making a decision you rather stay and fake the funk and, and be unhappy this is just a, a hot mess there no, zero offers on the table what we got the knight of, of wands and you know nobody really wants the knight of wands unless you want the knight of wands right this is a I am just like whatever cancer I mean get it together I don't really think I'm speaking to my cancer women my cancer women you're dealing with somebody who's in and out you're dealing with somebody who's hot and cold you're dealing with someone who you have a connection with but at the same time uh, this person cannot be stable uh, they view you as an uh, opportunity also watch out watch out this person views you as opportunity and then to the cancer man you cannot have all these options you need to choose one this is just horrible okay 
I don't even know how I'm doing extended reading because this is absolutely horrible. I mean, like, it's, I don't know, my energy completely shifted. This is, I might delete this reading. This is horrible. This is not right. This is, I hate to throw this term around because everybody throws it out. Narcissistic. This is 100% narcissistic behavior. This is somebody who wants their cake and they want to eat it too. They have nothing to offer a party outside of whoever they're obligated to. They treat them like shit anyway, so emotionally anyway. Uh, cancer, throw the whole reading away. It's a mess. This is a mess. I, okay. I think I'm going to do an extended reading. You know, I might just scrap it all. We have the energy of this reading. But it, in the extended, we're going to scrap this and see if we can come up with a different storyline, maybe for a different cancer out there. Because this is, I am upset. There's somebody upset out there. I normally, typically, y'all know, I don't get upset in these readings. I read the cards and we move on. But I am upset for somebody dealing with something. I don't know. Anyhow, happy holidays. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well, Cancer. Um, this is not good because this is an energy of somebody just wanting to string along and play more games. This is a game for somebody, okay? Uh, extended reading below. $1.75 It's going to get us an extended reading. We have this old messed up janky energy. We're going to try to move forward and see if we can get better energy one dollar seventy five cent below this is i'm just thank you cancer